I hate web pages where the fonts jump from big to medium to small. I like to see some responsive scaling. So as you shrink the screen, the font gradually shrinks rather than duh, duh, duh. Let me show you what I mean. We've got two headings and two text editors. And what I'm going to show you is going to be using font clamp, but don't be scared. There's a link in the video description to massively help you out. And this is super simple, easy to do, and you can do it on any WordPress website. Gutenberg, Bricks, Elemental, anything you want. Now watch the bottom header in text as I shrink down. Eventually, we're going to get to a point where they start to gradually shrink. And if you just watch there, boom, did you see that? The top one jumped and the bottom one is still gradually shrinking. Now I am using a browser window and if I could drag my window a little bit more smaller, it would have matched the height or the size of the fonts over there. But the problem you have is you have big, 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 and it stays big and then boom, it jumps. But the bottom one is gradually increasing and decreasing because I've said or set the minimum and maximum font size with a font clamp formula. Let me just show you what we did originally. And this is the mistake a lot of you will make. So we got our heading and normally we go and set our size. Now I would always recommend using REM. So one REM is equivalent to 16 pixel, two REM is 32 pixel, 1.5 REM is going to be 1.5 times 16, which is going to be 24 pixel. Just remember the root HTML size for one REM or one unit is 16 pixel. So here I've gone and just put in 100. Normally I'd use REM, but for the tutorial, just so it helps you to understand, I've gone for 100. And when we go to the mobile, I've gone and set it to be 30. If we go to the text, I went and set the text to be 16 for the mobile. And on the desktop, I set it to be 30. OK, so we've got 100 to 30 for the heading. And then we've gone from 30 pixel to 16 pixel for the mobile. And what happens is you get a jump. If I went and set the tablet style as well, then you'd get two jumps. You go desktop to tablet to mobile. And I would rather have a gradual decrease. And what we have done in the second heading and text editor is rather than using pixel or REM or EM or anything like that, we've gone and used a font clamp calculation. And this particular symbol that you can see over here, which is the pencil, which is how you would do it in Elemental. So if we go over, you would normally see pixel. You can either pick REM, EM or VW. You go and pick the pencil symbol there and you drop in a formula. Now, the formula is not one of those ones that you can just think off the top of your head unless you're very mathematically minded. And you are going to need a bit of help with that. But don't worry, on one of our pages, and the link is in the video description, which is our Learn Web Squadron website. And hey, don't forget to go and check out our $1 packs that are going to help you, your clients, and your business. When you go over to Tools, and there will be a link in the video description to help you out, you go over to the Fluid Typography Calculator. So my root HTML is 16. Okay, just make sure that's 16. If you know your website is using a root HTML of 10, go and pop a 10 in over here. If you've got to set it to be something different, or I wouldn't always do that, go and modify it. But if you're using Elementor or most website page builders, root HTML size of 16 is perfectly fine. Now what you want to do is go and decide on what is your maximum and minimum font sizes and when do you want them to kick in. Now I'm going to use H1 for the header and I'm going to use H2 for the text. Okay, don't worry about the fact that the text is text and not a H2. I'm just going to show you on the screen what they are. So over here, I've got and said my minimum value is 400. I could have set it to 350 if I want. And I'll explain why I've gone and set that to 400 in a moment. I've then set my maximum to be 1100. I could have gone with 1500. I could have gone with 800. But I've gone for 1100. Yeah, I know. Explain it. I will. But I just want you to understand the values. I've then said for my heading, the minimum font size is 30 pixel and the maximum is 100. Now, if you don't want to work with pixel and you want to work with REM and you've now decided the minimum is going to be, say, I don't know, 1.5 and the maximum is going to be 6 REM, go and pop the values in. But if you want to work with pixel because you're still getting used to the whole root HTML 16 division, that's perfectly fine too. When my screen or the estate or whatever you're viewing is 1,100 pixel, 
the maximum size is 100. And when you get to 400 pixels in width, I want you to drop down to 30. Now, what if your screen was 350? It will never go below 30. 400 is the minimum. What if your screen size was 2000 pixels in width and you got an ultra wide screen? The maximum is 100. So I'm saying between 1100 and 400, that's the range. Start at 100 and scale down to 30 but never go below 30. I don't care how small your screen is, you never go below 30. And I don't care how big your screen is, you never go above 100. So that's like the thresholds you're setting. And then for the text editor, I've still left it at 400 and 1100 as my threshold, maximum 30, minimum 16. And then what you do is you go and hit generate CSS and that is gonna generate the code and you will now see that here. Now, if you wanna go and pop this into say your custom CSS, maybe for your theme, maybe you're gonna go and stick it into your theme editor or somewhere, you can pick up that entire code, H1. And that will mean that every H1 tagged header on your website will now follow this rule of maximum, minimum, and what is the scaling range. Now I went and used H2 for my text, what I should have done and used a body or the P, but I just wanna show you that if you wanted to do that, you could do it, stick all your values in, generate your code and copy and paste. Now let me show you what we're gonna do for the heading. We're gonna go and pick up everything from the word clamp until the bracket after REM, before the semicolon and the curly bracket. Because I'm gonna drop this into the actual text or the heading, so I don't need the H1 font size bit. I don't need the semicolon or the curly bracket at the end either. I'm just gonna go and copy that. And when I go back over to my heading, go to my typography, and I will now go over to the part where you add the size and I will pick the pen. Now, what you have to ensure is that if there were any sizes already entered into here for the mobile or the tablet, you must clear them out, okay? Make sure there is nothing in there. It must be completely blank. So we go to the mobile, everything should be blank. If you had been messing around and there was a value like that in there, you must clear it out. And all of the font clamp formulas are added on the desktop. So the maximum uh, resolution size, the breakpoint, okay? Always do it on the biggest one. So if you've got seven breakpoints, like you've got ultra wide monitor screen, do it on the biggest one, okay? Because it then works its way down. So what you wanna do is make sure all of those are cleared. Go to your desktop one, go to typography, make sure you got the pen or the pencil, and then drop in your formula. That's it, you just drop it in. That is now gonna go from 100 to 30. Now let's go do the text one. So I'm now gonna go to the word clamp, go all the way to the bracket after REM, and I'm gonna copy that. Let's go over to the text, go to the typography, make sure there's no values in the tablet or mobile. I know there are not. Make sure you've picked the pen or the pencil, go and paste it in. And if I now update that, we're back over here. And as I shrink down, look, it starts to grow and shrink. Look at the text in the heading. And you can apply this to margins and paddings and images as well. You don't have to apply it just to text. This is gonna make your website so much more responsive and nicer to look at. I'm Imran Web Squadron. The links are in the video description. I'll see you soon.